again um great day i just want to come to you really really briefly i don't have a whole lot of time but i wanted to come to you briefly on a topic um and that topic's entitled you belong to god not to man now first of all let me give my disclaimer i stand on let the redeemed of the lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy so i don't get on these scopes professing to be somebody that's a guru that knows it all i'm not affiliated with anybody's ministry per se like i'm not on staff or anything i'm just a believer giving my testimony the bible tells us you know um they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony but i thought this was really really important because the lord's been placing it on my heart about you know folks feeling like orphans feeling like you don't belong feeling like nobody cares about you nobody loves you and you may think this only affects the youth but that is quite the contrary there is peer pressure even among circles of people who are grown who are renowned who are affluent you just wouldn't know about it because there's so many different things in our society today to hide behind you belong to god not to man and it's so important to understand this truth or you'll be deceived and it'll be easy for somebody to manipulate you for instance think about the scene in 300 i don't know if you saw that movie but it was a guy with a hunchback and he had reached out you know to one of the warriors he wanted to fight but obviously he had physical deformation you know deformations in his body and so you know they just told him straight off the bat no we don't need your help we don't want you you know so he ended up going on the opposing team and that's if you're not careful this is what the enemy does he recruits people who are are broken down folks who you know get caught up in their flesh and start feeling like you know well i'm not appreciated and then you can get sucked into all types of forms of perversion but i'm here to let you know you don't have to be ignorant of satan's devices you belong to god not to man so i want to encourage you briefly with a scripture because there may be folks that talk about like almost like grade school you know we don't want you on our team they don't belong to me i don't go with her i don't go with him ill yuck you know god said you know that my sheep hear my voice and this is coming out of john 10 27 through 29 and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Let me tell you, my friend, on today, that you belong to God and not to man, despite folks who have made, told you that you'll never amount to anything, despite the folks who may have been persecuting you on your job, within your circle of influence, I'm here to encourage you and say that you belong to God and not to man. And so I don't want to like rear off totally left, but the bottom line is, you know, this is not a me against the world mentality, but it is to encourage you that Christ and Christ alone is worthy to be praised. You know, I'm not here to try to tell you what to do or make your life decisions for you, but I'm here to encourage you and let you know who cares who's rejecting you. God has received you as his beloved. Don't worry about folks that don't want to be in your midst or in your presence. We're called to love everybody, but we're not called to hang with everybody. And that's the bottom line. Be ye separate. We are called to be amongst those that the Lord has planted us with. And that's why he says in Amos 3, how can two walk together unless they be in agreement? So the next scripture I want to look at comes out of Romans 8.31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? And the bottom line is, if we're not, you know focused on what the Lord has told us when we don't have a revelation of his love for us we can get caught up in all types of different things and perversions what shall we say to these things if God be for us who can be against us you need to meditate and revelate on that thing today and let it marinate you belong to God not to man don't worry about who's rejecting you get a revelation of his love so that you're able to distribute that love to others do unto others as you would have them do unto you you belong to God and not to man now I want to look at two other scriptures really quickly and it comes out of Jeremiah 1 5 before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations God knew us before we were even born when we were yet in our mother's womb this should be encouraging to you so you can understand that you know man looks at the outward appearance but God looks at the heart he will not reject you he wants you to receive his love on today I don't know what you may have been going through but understand that God wants you to develop a vision for your life he has given us a blueprint by which we can go through and that's his word so I encourage you to assemble with other believers you belong to God and not to man now the last scripture I want to look at comes out of Luke 8 17 for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad the Lord has given 
unto us as believers to know the mysteries of the kingdom. So when folks are trying to size you up and say, we don't know their character, we don't know what's up, what's up with such and such, you know, give it more time. It's okay to discern, but don't be discouraged by that because God will reveal it if they want to know. You know, so folks want to come up with excuses as to why they don't want you to be in their clique. They don't want you to be a part of their organization. It don't matter. God has chosen you before the foundations of the earth, before you were formed in your mother's womb, God chose you. So it doesn't matter who's rejecting you. So I hope that I was able to encourage somebody on today because there are countless people suffering unnecessarily and unfortunately from rejection. They feel rejected. They feel as though they're not worthy. They're not good enough, but God will never reject you. He said, I will perfect the things which concern you, but he won't reject us. Understand that God will fight your battles. He executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. It's a new day with new mercy. Don't feel so sunk into your past. Don't be caught up in a spirit of shame and condemnation because deliverance is available on today. You belong to God and not to man. You may have a company logo on your badge, but you still belong to God. Hallelujah. You may have a certain name or a certain title or a certain nickname that people recognize you by, a pet name, but you still belong to God. I don't care what's on your birth certificate. You belong to God and the righteous shall not be plucked out of his hand. Receive this revelation on today and understand that God wants to take you further than you've ever gone. I don't care how young you are or how old you are. God has a plan for your life. And you can fulfill that if you would just understand that you belong to God and not to man. Man does not have a monopoly on you. You are not your bank account. You are not the car you drive. You are not the house you live in. You are not your level of success, even though he calls us to let our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Understand, you belong to God and not to man. And you definitely don't belong to hell. Let me say that again. You don't belong to hell. You belong to God. Well, until next time, remember this, as long as the earth remains, there'll be seed time and harvest, but God has a specific plan for your life. Learn how to meditate on Romans 8. I'm telling you, it will bless your life. Shalom.